Welcome to the petrochemical course. We're going to be giving a overview, an overall overview of the petrochemical industry, mainly the downstream part of the oil and gas industry. So what do we do when we get the oil and we refinate it? We have several streams and those must be treated. So we're not going to see that technical part on the petroleum refining we're going to see what's next what happens after the petroleum is refined so this is the petrochemical overview so we're going to start with a overview of what are the most common petrochemicals as a product most common uses raw materials what are the refineries top refineries or petrochemical industries and the main products how do we categorize them as light heavy products and then we continue with nafta what's nafta why do we need it why it's so readily available and a little bit more on the units the catalytic uh sorry the steam ref uh, cracking of nafta and then the gas cracking then we see a little bit more on the fcc which is the fluid catalytic uh, cracker and more on the recovery of certain materials so this part right here is the main heart of the petrochemical industry is breaking and cracking units in order to increase the value of the product. So what we do is to break up, I don't know, maybe C to C70 chains into smaller ones, more useful materials. And then we are going to stop and start analyzing by groups. So we're going to see the basic gases, what are for instance, seen gas, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, how are they produced? How do we produce hydrogen gas and so on? Then we get to the hydrocarbon part, which is the most important part of the petrochemical industry. C1, well, will be methane, the carbo, hydrocarbons as uh, here, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. And then we continue with the interesting part which is C2 group, essentially ethane, but more importantly, ethylene, C2 here, and acetylene as well, and methanol, all, all the uh, materials that have two carbons are going to see, are going to be seen here. So the most important part is ethylene, which is about 60% of the production of petrochemicals. Then we continue with C3 group, for instance, propane, propylene, and many other acetones, whatever material or petrochemical that has three carbons will be here. Then we continue with C4, which is butadiene, essentially a butane with two bonds right here, or simply butylene and so on. Then we continue with higher hydrocarbons, so pentane, isomelane, and so on. Then we stop by to analyze the aromatics. Aromatic is anything which has a ring so for instance the btx benzene toluene and helene but not only that we're going to see much more cumene uh, phenols uh, phenolic acid and so on then we give a final or overview or wrap up of the course